What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now ladies and gentlemen, today's video I thought would be a pretty interesting one because I've been noticing a pretty frequent, you know, mindset when it comes to the Call of Duty community from a match to match basis when I'm playing Call of Duty personally. And also I see it a ton in the comment section, YouTube videos, so on and so forth when it comes to regarding skill based matchmaking with in COD. And I think it's time to expose a lot of individuals out there. Now, again, you know, I'm not really talking about specifically any of you guys. And if you're probably getting salty about it, more than likely what I'm saying is true. So, you know, obviously I'm not pointing anybody out. But like I said, every single time I hop into a game, people claim they want one thing. Yet and still they act like they completely want the opposite. But Ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And, of course, if you guys want to check out any of my live streams, I will be live today over on Kick, anywhere between 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And usually I stream up until like 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern time. So, of course, if you got any time in between, you can hop into the stream, say hello, and we also do host open lobbies. Don't forget about that, guys. So, if you want to hop in, say hello in the chat, you can get my friend code, and you can... Obviously, to get into the game if you see any open slots. But with that being said, let's hop back into the commentary. Now, I want to really dissect skill-based matchmaking and how the community acts revolving around skill-based matchmaking within Call of Duty. And I really do believe a lot of the community are hypocrites. Again, not talking about you guys whatsoever. But again, if you, if you get offended by this, then maybe I am talking about you. But nine times out of ten when it comes to the skill-based matchmaking, I will say, first and foremost, I should say that if you don't like matchmaking, that's completely fair. 1,010% because it is extraordinarily sweaty. And compared to what it was like back in the day, the game is just massively different. So I get where people are saying that the game is a bit too competitive, too sweaty, and they just don't enjoy casually playing it. But I want to point my finger more towards the direction of other individuals out there who, in my personal opinion, are more like closet sweats, pocket sweats. People who are going to absolutely despise the matchmaking. People who are going to roast the matchmaking nonstop and the players who are competing within those matches. Yet they're the same ones who don't take a break and try to casually play themselves. Again, I'm not speaking for everyone, but let me tell you something about my lobbies. Every single game I hop into, I always see people with a clan tag saying F skill based matchmaking or, you know, removes good, you know, all this stuff about skill based matchmaking. They complain in game about how I'm playing personally, and I don't even use metal weapons. You know what I'm saying? I always try to branch out and try the variety within the game. And these people are coming at my neck while the whole kill feed is filled with MCWs, MTZs, Holgers, Strikers, you know, d d d all of the most insane weapons you could possibly think of. You know, these people are playing just like me, but they just might not be as, you know, I don't want to say as good, but, you know, if they're getting whooped, they're getting whooped, and they're not happy about it. And it's just as simple as that. But they don't want to have skill-based matchmaking adjusted to help, you know, with their teammates and actually place them in lobbies that they should be in. No, they want matchmaking to literally feed them bot lobbies okay they don't want to play casually they don't and i'm going to explain this later they don't want to play casually they just want to be able to casually stomp and like i said i'm going to explain back in the day if you wanted to take a break from competing sweating all of the above you would use the corny stuff in the game we're playing call of duty people okay this game yeah it might have metas but it's always packed with toxic cheese. Ways to enjoy the game other than just simply competing. And when a real, when a real casual player, I'm talking about a real casual player, not a, like I said, a closet sweat. No, I'm talking about when a real casual player doesn't want to play competitively and they're, they're sick of it, they pull out the cheese and enjoy the game that way. Yet, when I see these closet sweats, when they complain about the game getting too competitive, they're not doing any of that. They're not trying to find ways to then enjoy the experience. No, they double down. They keep using the same weapons. They keep using the same metas. And they expect to do better until they get a bot lobby. But again, they're not trying to play casually. They're, they're begging for a casual experience. Yet and still, they themselves aren't putting themselves in that experience. You know, I actually have a lot of friends who don't use any of these meta sweat classes 
and just casually vibe out with a lot of the weapons in the game. And they never get put into these matches. Now, again, their KD is much lower than mine. So even if I were to go and mess off with these weapons and I still maintain a higher KD, I'm still going to be put into these matches. But matching their KD with their play style and what they use, you know, they don't enjoy my matches whatsoever. They, they Sometimes they hate playing with me. But for their games, it's a whole different experience, a whole different vibe. They're playing against completely different players sometimes. And it's because they don't care. They're not closet sweats. They're not, you know, doubling down on trying to perform well. No, if they're getting whooped, they don't care. They will literally just go do something else. You know, back in the day, like I said, there was alternatives. Someone's getting whooped, they'll pull out noob tubes. They'll, they'll just trick shot and snipe and quick scope. You know, they'll, they'll pull out shotguns and cheese with the shotguns. You know, Modern Warfare 3, I'm trying to kick back and use the cheese and enjoy myself. You know, they put in the dual akimbo models, something so iconic. And, you know, it really gives you that hit of nostalgia. And I'm just trying to grind out and have a good time, mess around with that, mess around with the chainsaws and, you know, noob tubing and, you know, all this cheese when I'm bored of competing. I just want to goof off and have a good time. And people get pissed at you. People, like, I can't tell you how many times I have people in that lobby getting mad at me using this stuff and t literally wanting me to red gun, okay? Yet and still, there are the same exact people who want a casual game. You're telling me you want me to go ahead and uncasualize myself, stop using the cheese, the things that are just stupid fun in the game, and you want me to go back to using MCWs and Holgers and meta weapons and bows and all this other, you're telling me you want me to stop that? And go back to this? Do, do you see where my confusion comes in here, ladies and gentlemen? And like I said, it's everywhere. It's everywhere you look. And I've been guilty of this in the past. You know what I'm saying? But over time, like I said, it just comes down to my team. I don't like playing solo. And I don't really have a problem with matchmaking anymore. Because I always play with the squad. You know what I'm... You, you don't really hear me complain too, too much about it. I will talk about it because obviously it's a really hot topic and everybody loves discussing it. But for me personally, you know, I could bypass it that way. But solo gameplay is horrible. It's horrible because it doesn't match you properly. It's disgusting, the solo matchmaking. I feel bad for a lot of solo players who try to play God. But again, I acknowledge it for that. I'm not trying to stomp out a bunch of bots. You know, I'm just saying if the matchmaking is supposed to work properly, then make it work properly. You know what I'm saying? Why are a bunch of people who are not in my bracket getting stomped out by sweats who are equal to me and then I have to carry? You know, it's not a good experience for anybody on my team, except except for the enemy team, I guess. You know, I have to sweat out. I might get some streaks and do good, but I mean, we're still getting stomped and the enemies are getting streaks. And then, you know, the rest of my teammates are getting whooped. They're literally getting mopped. How are they having any fun? It needs to be more of a balance here. They need to even it out a bit. And make it actually function. You know, skill-based matchmaking has always been in Call of Duty. It's just it was always toned way back. You know, it wasn't as thick as it is current data. It wasn't as in-depth. So, it was a different experience. But people don't want to acknowledge it like that. Okay? People want to acknowledge it in the light that they want to sweat. They want to closet sweat by sweating on people who are trash instead of, you know having maybe a few sweats sprinkled. They don't want any sweats. I'm telling you, they, they could have, like, if there's 66 and it's four people who are casual players and two sweats, they will still be mad as hell because they got two sweats in the lobby. You know, while they're, while they're still using regular guns. They're not messing around with snipers and, you know, the Kimbo models. And, like, I don't even get mad when I die from a Kimbo models because it's freaking hilarious. Like, it might be annoying from time to time to lose a streak to those overpowered things, but I know they're going to be nerfed. I know they're going to be destroyed. It's not like Sledgehammer's going to keep them that way. So why not enjoy them, right? Enjoy the cheese. Stop sweating so hard. But people just can't help it. And like I said, they're the same ones, the same ones who claim that they just can't stand the matchmaking, yet and still they play the way they play. And the most wild part about this is that it's not just the the, the sweatier style players. It's also the casual players as well, the, the people who claim that they're casuals. Again, they're running around with a lot of these weapons. Yet they're pissed off that, you know, they're not getting any casual experiences whatsoever. They're caring about their stats. They're caring about what they're using, the attachments, their loadouts. Just because they don't want to, you know, use movement or, you know, do any of that stuff doesn't mean that, you know, you're not trying, right? You're still trying to get streaks. 
you might still be trying to, you know, win. And these people, to me personally, might be the most annoying of the bunch. And again, I'm not trying to offend anybody. I really am not. But it's true. They, they might be the most annoying of the bunch because the sweats are very obvious to see that they just don't, they don't care. You know, they just want to stomp out lobbies. But the casual ones, you know, they're the hardest to break through because they, they refuse. They refuse to see it. Where, where the sweats, they know, you know. They might not say it openly that they want to sweat out on a bunch of noobs and stomp out lobbies. But they know. They know for a fact in their minds they want to. But the casuals, they don't. They genuinely believe that they want or they belong in these, you know, bot lobbies. While they are intentionally trying to sweat it up. They're not casually playing. They're not, you know, sitting there not caring about their stats and running around with, you know, weird guns and loadouts and classes that will make you perform bad. You know, they're not doing any of this stuff. They're still running with normal loadouts, normal stuff, and getting salty that they have to sweat a little bit. Yet, technically, yes, they are still competing. They're still trying to get streaks and win. But, guys, I I'm not going to ramble your guys' ears off. I know I might get some hate for this, but... I think it's the truth, man. Again, I'm not defending skill-based matchmaking in any way, shape, or form, and I'm, I'm right there with a lot of you guys. I'm just calling out a lot of the crowd of people who complain about, you know, the experiences being too sweaty while at the same time, they're not even trying to kick back themselves. They're still competing just as hard as anybody else, yet they, they want to complain about us. I, I don't know, man. I, I just want to put my two cents out there. Of course, leave your opinions down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And last but not least, if you guys want to check out my live streams, I do that over on Kick pretty much daily. That starts around 12 to 1 p.m. Eastern time. And you guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. But as always, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace out.